Hello boys and girls, today's episode is a special episode uh, for our good friend Ryan at A Little Dirt, a Little Dirt Never Hurt who uh, essentially challenged me to uh, do a, f a totally free potato grow experiment and that's what we're going to be doing so let's go and gather the materials right now and we'll sort you through the process fingers crossed we should get some good tasty potato results at the back end of it these are going to be main croppers so uh, yeah watch and enjoy see you in a bit boys and girls and if you do like what we're doing please comment like and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and hit the bell notification button so you don't miss another exciting episode with us down here in eden on the little farm first a bit of a road trip yeah we're on the hunt for mole hills that's mole hills so uh that's our quarry just at the side of a an A road and um, yeah so those, so those are the mole hills the mole hills and um, it's perfectly legal to uh, collect the soil from mole hills as long as you're not digging into the ground you're all right the moles done the work the moles shoved all the topsoil up and they had a bit unsightly well, there's loads of them this time of year. You'll see tons of uh, mole hills along verges like this. And so I'm, I'm just collecting. I'm going to fill that uh, tub up with the mole hills and then we'll go for the forest floor scrapings and the finished um, manure compost. And that's what we're going to be throwing in for our mix. Right. Okay. So in the space of a couple of minutes, we've got... Uh, a more or less full tub with the 30 litres for free courtesy of the moles I could have got to, I could have filled both of these I mean, in fact I could have filled the flaming car with it there's that many uh, mole hills but for the purposes of our experiment that's all I need so I'm just taking what I need I'm going to get the forest floor scrapings in there as well up to about two thirds and then the rest of it's going to be filled in then with the uh, the finished compost that we've got. All right. So what we've got there is the practically finished compost that we've been doing in the compost corral. There's still a few uh, hurdy gurdies in it, but uh, it'll do the job. So it's going to be like a 50-50 mix of this. And the mole hills. I was going to get some forest floor scrapings as well, but uh, I don't know. I decided I'm not going to do that. I've been through the through the woods there, and it's all overgrown, so there's not actually any exposed um, exposed soil really. So uh, we'll just make do with what we've actually got on here, which is the uh, horse manure. That's uh, rotted down over the last uh, 12 months inside the compost corral which is this so it's horse horse manure we've got straw in there we've got uh, sh shredded paper rabbit bedding and it all goes down and it breaks down into this into this stuff which is all good isn't it good and rich Now it will have um, bits of weed in it, but I'm sure we can cope with that. As they come up, you just pluck them out, don't you? That's all you do. You don't have to worry about it. All right, there we go. Bits of eggshell and all sorts. But it's free. There's our three selected seed potatoes. Now, they were just in a bag in the pantry at our place and um, just shop bought potatoes and uh, as you can see they're getting they're getting green they past their uh, use by date really but they're free aren't they so these are just ones that we haven't used and we found at the back of the cupboard so they're going to be the ones that we're going to be using as the seed potatoes to start off our plants and you can see where the chits have come on these uh, fine sort of light coloured 
sprit sprits that are coming off from them. That's the um, that's the start of the root system, and the darker, fatter horns are where the plant actually grows. So the roots come out from from the base of where the horn is, and um, and grow that way. So yeah, they're the ones that we're going to be using. Don't know what variety they are, not a clue. But uh, they are main croppers by the look of them, so uh, that's what we're going to be using in the buckets. Specifically, these buckets from Tesco's, which we got for free, yet again. Now all I'm going to do is, because I want to fill it up right to the top, I'm going to... I am going to have to have some sort of expense, but I'm sure there'll be a way of you doing it without any expense. This is tape that I've already got, some Gorilla tape. You can use normal duct tape or whatever, just to fill in the, uh, the handle gaps so that I can have a full bucket full. And there'll be about 20 litres of the growing medium inside of that. So with the two buckets of the, of the growing medium uh, that, that we've got, which of course is the... Um, the finished or mostly finished compost and the mole hills that's what we're going to be filling those up with but as i say i'm going to i'm just going to tape off these um these holes all right so there they are taped up so you've got the full depth of the bucket then for your growing the potato is going to be sat around about that level uh, a couple of a couple of three inches above the base and then uh, the horns will spread out through the growing medium through the soil and the potatoes shall grow inside that area that's the idea we're hoping to get about three pounds of potatoes potentially from each one all being well so we just need to get some drainage holes in the base of that so that it uh, it doesn't become waterlogged so we'll do that now so there's a drill driver with an 8mm metal bit, or steel bit. And that's going to be used to put five drainage holes. One, two, three, four, and one in the middle. Now I've stacked them three on top of each other. That should have the right depth then to go through and do all the lot at the same time. So we'll do that, like so. Like I say, that, go that goes through all three at the same time which saves you a bit of, a bit of time and effort doesn't it okay let's get our growing mix going so I'm going to do it half and half the finished compost in the um, topsoil that the moles the moles have given us and that's going to be mixed together inside there I'm not going to be able to add any other amendments to that because as I say it's an experiment in how to grow or to see if we can grow potatoes for free so I'm going to get that mixed up in that in that barrel there now and then start filling the buckets up okay so that's had a fairly good mix together of the topsoil and the compost I'm just going to uh, get the buckets now and uh, fill up about a couple of a couple of three inches at the bottom and then get that potato in so that's the next step all right, I'm not going to do uh, anything else to that apart from fill it up. Mix on. Magic mix, I'm going to go and see him in a minute. Okay. So let's see if we can get a kilogram of potatoes out of that. All right, that was about a four ounce potato or something like that. So we'll see if we can get a kilo out of it. Whatever we get is a bonus because as long as we get something... Um, it's essentially not cost us anything. So, uh, yeah, let's see. I'm going to do the other three, the other two. Even the label tickets I'm going to recycle. These are just um, labels that I've found knocking about the plot as I've been tidying. And luckily I've got three. So, yeah, I'm going to recycle those as well. And there we are. Three of the Tesco buckets full. Or more or less full I just ran out I was going to top it up another inch or so but we'll leave it until they burst through and then um, top them off to the top later on same process though I'm going to get some more mole hills and use some of our um, compost 
fingers crossed okay that now this is going to be a totally free spud experiment and i'm relatively confident that we're going to get some results from that i'll put it in the lady farmer's um polytunnel for the time being and then when they burst the horns through once we, once we pass the last frost date they'll be going outside so they'll probably be going outside in about six weeks time as as established plants hopefully the horns will be up to about uh, 10, uh, 10 to 12 inches above the soil level by that time and they can just carry on growing outside then okay now because there's no shop bought amendments or fertilizers gone into that no obviously no potato fertilizer or blood fish and bone or anything like that that's gone into those buckets i would suspect that the yields are not going to be as good as if there was but it remains to be seen, doesn't it? We'll see. I'm guessing with the topsoil that's the naturally occurring topsoil that the moles have provided for us, excuse me, um, you, th there's gonna be natural minerals in, in the soil from that. And then we've got our compost, which is uh, all organic. Nothing, nothing unorganic gone into there. Mo mostly horse manure and uh, kitchen scraps, shredded paper. I suppose the shredded paper is not fully organic because it's white paper, isn't it? But it's um, good, better, best, as John Kohler says. So we're trying to get everything as natural as we can. And it's had, um, it's had the eggshells in there as well for the calcium. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm pretty confident we'll, we'll, definitely, we'll definitely get something out of it, unless there's some major tragedy that occurs, but... I'm certain we're going to get potatoes at the back end of that. Right, catch you later boys and girls. That's for you, my, my little Canuck friend, for Ryan. Over at um, A Little Dirt Never Hurt. Okay. Or Thistle Hill Farm. Check him out. Right, I'll catch you later. Have a good time. Don't work too hard in the week. And uh, look after yourselves and each other. See you later. Bye-bye now.